All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. This is going to be video number two in a series. And uh, the first two videos pretty much are just concentrating on teardown. And for those wondering, that front bolt that held on that front pulley, that was really no issue to get off. But really the only bolt I've had an issue with is right there on that steering. And I still can't even break that thing loose. I've heated it, busted on it. Um, technically I could leave it because I got this side undone and I was able to move that front steering arm out just enough to get my socket in there and get that front bolt off. But the problem becomes is stuff like that keeps me up at night. So I may work at it, cut it, grind the top off, do whatever I have to and punch it through, get a new bolt. I don't know. I still don't know at what depth I want to take this. I did find, and I don't know if it's going to show up here. Yeah, you can kind of see it on the other side there of that um, front main seal. All that rubber is gone and deteriorated. I didn't pry on it. I didn't beat on it. It's just gone, deteriorated, which would explain the oil leaks in the front. The question is, or the problem rather, is if that front main seal is that bad, what is my rear main seal light. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Part of me says put it back together at this point, just put a front main seal, put it back together, you know, clean it up, blah, 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 new head gasket, all new ro radiator hoses. Um, but part of me says support the tractor at the transmission level, separate engine from transmission so I can get in there, A, put a rear main seal, B, put a new oil pan gasket, and literally, other than machining, you know, I wouldn't pop the cylinders out, but give this a pretty well overhaul without popping cylinders out. Um, <clears throat> then I would know how the front I would know the state of the front third of the tractor. Then once I got that back together, but before hooking it up to tractor, bam, support back of tractor and have a look in the transmission. Then I know that these two sections, section one and two, would be okay. And I know I've got massive leaks in the hydraulic fluid system. I know that. Um, my implements will stop working and then I'll have to put some hydraulic fluid in there and then it works again. So obviously I'd like to fix the leaks. Question is, all that costs money and takes a, just a shit ton of time. So, I am at a stand, stand still basically basically more on decision than it. I'd love to just polish this thing up, prime it, paint it. But I also really don't want to be doing an in-depth project at this point. It's a working tractor. Just get it mechanically sound. So what I'm going to do next is start taking these parts and putting them in my diesel cleaning tank and just taking all the exterior parts, taking the head over there and literally start giving everything a scrub. So that is going to end it for this video. And for those who watched the first one and know that the problem with this tractor, um, due to a, a, a viewer who is Scottish, by the way, not from England, um, really helpful guy. Um, Kind of led me in the direction of the governor. I've also gotten that bit of advice from some others. And like I pointed out, that hose right there goes to the governor over to the uh, air intake side. That hose was completely and utterly 
caked full. There was no air getting through. That would support the theory that it was the governor that was um, not working. So it stands to reason I could have probably fixed the tractor, at least that problem, which is cleaning that hose. But here we are, you know, knee deep in it. We're gonna continue. So um, till I can get some gaskets, uh, radiator parts, and more than anything, figure out how in depth I wanna go. This is the end of video two. Thanks guys for watching. Any comments, uh, advice, ideas, please leave them in the comments. Quick little update. I just wanted to show you how I broke this front pulley bolt loose. I just took a crowbar, put in there, and I've got my breaker bar with my socket, and that thing broke loose right away. I was very surprised. And then of course I'll probably have to use a pulley puller to get the uh, pulley off. But <clears throat> so that, that socket there worked out really well. Broke loose, no issues. The issue is this bolt here, I've pounded on it. I put the nut on there and then I've pounded upward with a, a sledgehammer and it doesn't even budge. You can, I, I put some of that PB blaster and you kind of see that liquid coming out, rust color. So I'm just going to hit it with PB blaster on the bottom, top, and let it sit probably overnight, which delays this project. But um, I just wanted to break this bolt loose before I take this whole front end off because then I ha would have nothing to put this crowbar up against. So. That is the socket. Work like a charm. And actually guys, I didn't even need a pulley puller. Literally just pulls off by hand. So there's the shaft. Um, getting this one bolt on off over here is giving more me more issues than this. So I don't actually theoretically have to take that off, being I can access the front. But it bugs me when I know that I have stuff like this. So part of me wants to take it out, because I was wanting to take this whole front end off, clean it up, and paint it. So I might stay the course. I'm torn between that and then just putting it back together and getting use out of it. We had our well, not our first snow, about our fourth snow now. And this is how I plow. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I gotta think on it.